Hello, aloha. I'm Christina Tang from Malaysia, currently in Hawaii, Waikiki Beach. We are actually in the room that Hawaii Five-O actually shoot, have a shoot here. So very privileged. Never thought that I would actually make it to US, um, given the fact that this country has always been a place that I wanted to visit. Thanks to Master Umesh and Sushila for having the Awaken the Divine You program and plug uh, Hawaii as part of the retreat. So I'm now completing Master's Retreat Level 1 um, at Hawaii again. I like the name so much. It's a beautiful beach, uh, beautiful scenery, beautiful people, um, very warm. And I think to actually talk about the retreat or what I learned, well to be honest this retreat has been really zen, <laughs> really um, calm and at the same time it gives me uh, a lot of break free um, session. I honoured myself more. I appreciate my body even more. Um, this has been a trouble issues to me since very young. Uh, you see in the society there are a lot of um, categories that boxes up women especially. You know we have to be in certain way that the society accept us or the community accept us. But again that is because we allow the community to set us to, to actually categorize us. Um, throughout since young I have been uh, oh, how do I say it? Um, verbally being abused, uh, being called fat, being called big boobs or blondie in another way in English like you know the Cantonese always say the terms like mono. so I have never been really comfortable with my body since the age of 12 and I'm now 34 and um, because of this retreat I kind of and it's not just retreat, because of this journey I would say, because through the Awaken the Divine New journey since I started this year in January, I'm very blessed that I complete all retreats in a year um, up to uh, Master's Retreat in a year. Um, so I can actually see the progress and see how my thoughts changes and see how much I progress in terms of appreciating who I truly am, in terms of appreciating my talents and um, my body as I say. Uh, you know, they always say the term that if you are born to set, stand out, why should you fit in? this ring the loudest to me in this retreat. If I am born to stand out, why should I even think about to fit in to the box or the, the box um, that the society created for most of the people? Because I am not most of the people. I am me. I am unique. I am special. I am who I am. You know, um, but being said so, it doesn't mean that I should be uh, boastful, you know, I, I should be uh, showing off. No, it's not that because it's all coming from the point of view where you are coming from love, you are coming from positivity, you are coming from affirming yourself. It's very hard to share with uh, people out there or or to share with you exactly what the feelings that I'm having because it's nothing but calmness, it's nothing but affirmation, it's nothing but just pure love. Pure love towards myself, pure love towards people around me. I know um, we are human, uh, I am too not perfect, but not perfect is part of life perfection, isn't it? So being not perfect is good to me. I learned that because I am a perfectionist. From a perfectionist to accepting myself, not being perfect, that is a milestone. From a person who actually feel very shy and hunched back to a person who actually stand tall and firm and talk to you, projecting this confidence that everyone see in me, but deep down inside there's always a shaky layer and now that shaky layer is firm up. Um, I believe who I am, I believe the things that I'm doing and going to do more and I believe that you know there are much more 
positive things to look ahead, especially when you're at Waikiki Beach looking at the sunset, the sunrise, the rainbow and everything. How I wish we can just pan the camera and show you the scenery, but unfortunately not because you got to come here and experience yourself. So I'll see you again and I'll move forward. Thank you very much to Master and Sushila.